What is up, my friends? So, just a quick video before I really come back next Monday. Well, this Monday coming up, but we're talking about A Quiet Place Part 2. So, this is a movie that when I first heard about it, I was like, did they really have to make a second one? Now, the first one I thought was great. It was something that I thought was going to be sort of gimmicky in the movie theaters with the whole being quiet and all of that which many people did like. I myself did enjoy it, actually. And now we are here to see A Quiet Place Part 2 after that. Now, this film actually has some pretty uh, interesting uh, development, I would say. They are really pushing it from where the other one was sort of a horror action-ish type film to more of a survival, bigger world, sort of Walking Dead type vibes I'm getting from this. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this film takes place after a year after our uh, family has now gone on to find out what is happening with the world. Of course, we know the Abbott family is missing the father who has died after he actually um, sacrificed himself so his family would be safe. And now we have Evelyn, Reagan, Marcus, and a new baby on the way who is trying to see, like, what are we about to do? So as we know from the first one that we've discovered that the creatures are vulnerable to the high frequency audio feedback and we know this from Reagan's uh, hearing aids which is what they use to pretty much go about and have things not get escalated whenever they encounter these creatures. So as they're trying to discover what uh, they can do um, and find more people out there, they discover Emmett, who is actually a family friend of Lee. And what ends up happening is that he helps them after Marcus gets injured by a bear trap. Now, he also is able to... Uh, so, the plan here is Marcus and Reagan discover that there is a radio signal playing a song over and over, and it's actually coming from an island nearby. They're like, wait, we can actually do something good if we go out and actually see what is like this station and play the frequency sound so anybody can use this to defend themselves. Reagan ultimately does leave, and Emmett goes to find her after. Evelyn is like, you need to find her. She cannot do this on her own. Emmett ultimately does end up finding Reagan, but after explaining the plan, he's like, we need to do this. Evelyn and Marcus and the newborn go to get medical supplies while all this is happening. And what we see happen is he gets some of the uh, aliens to find a location by knocking a couple things down. On the other side of things, Emmett and Reagan are trying to reach the... Uh, new island here that they discovered but there is actually some people who aren't really there to play they're actually able to get away when Emmett actually makes noise in order to distract uh, the people and actually get the aliens to come and attack them and kill them we find out that they can't actually swim as one is trying to get to Emmett and it actually dies there there they find on the island that there is a colony of people who are just living a normal life because the aliens can't reach him and so they are able to stay there on this island that's remote. However, Emmett actually realizes that they brought one of the aliens with them and it's actually there killing many civilians. They lure this creature into the radio station. They actually begin to play the audio on here of her hearing aid and they get the creature weakened and kill it. There is a creature trying to get to Marcus and Evelyn as well, but they actually get uh, saved by the noise as well that is now broadcasting, and they shoot it dead as well. Now they are able to use this new um, sound through the radio signal, and they can use this to fight against the creatures, and pretty much that's where it ends. So I think it was a very abrupt ending, but it's sort of like the ending from the first one, which I, I, I don't want to say it. it was a little bit. I was like, okay, but this ending is very much so them trying to continue on. Emily Blunt has said that Krasinski actually does have a trilogy that he wants to do. So we are definitely looking at a third quiet place here. She had this to say. He has a whole arc of ideas that could work. I think he just wanted to see how people responded to this one before he fully engaged his brain on the third one. 
but he has a couple of great ideas. So I think it's pretty interesting uh, how Krasinski laid this one out. I think it's a little risky as well, depending on how people feel about it, because it really left it open to interpretation as to what could happen next. And so I think not giving a conclusive ending before we know if we're getting a trilogy is a very, very ballsy move. But I think it's going to definitely play out, pay off for him. Um, I think this is one of the reasons he was so like this has to come out in theaters because I think that you have to get that experience in theaters. And I think driving that demand back to theaters would be a good way for this movie to definitely get a trilogy uh, greenlit. So we aren't sure completely just yet if we are going to um, be seeing the third one play out. We do have um, this weekend to see how the box office numbers will do as this is one of the first uh, films to be released in theaters and that is definitely going to be a big deal right now. We do have Cruella releasing as well this uh, weekend, but that will be releasing on Disney Plus, so I'm not sure exactly how that's going to mess with box office numbers. More people definitely going out to the theaters, but we're going to see what happens with this movie. So next week we do have a Conjuring uh, film coming out, so I think this film really has to prove itself this weekend before it gets really much crowded in the summer blockbusters that are about to come out. So definitely interested how A Quiet Place 2 will do. What are your thoughts on it, on the trilogy? Do you want to see more? What did you think about the ending? As I said, very, very abrupt ending, but it's okay. It's like a continuation, so it definitely picks up in the next one, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see this world expand and see what they have in store for us. Anyways, let me know your thoughts below. As always, I will be making a ton of new videos next week, and I will definitely be um, more active now. Took a pretty long break, longer than I intended, but I'm here. I'm back. So anyways, as always, I'll see all of you tomorrow. Well, Monday. Let me know your thoughts on A Quiet Place 2. Did you like it? Did you not? And that ending and yeah make sure you subscribe if you haven't already let's get to 20 down subscribers i know we were only to get there before that took the break but i think we can get there soon so go ahead and hit that subscribe like comment share turn on the bell for notifications i'll see you next time stay safe stay positive hey if you're still listening why don't you go ahead and check out one of the videos on the left Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive.